Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, good morning. It is officially March Madness. You look excited. We're going to give you guys all the deets. we got to wake our butts up, though, get some coffee, and then I will, we'll fill you in. <sighs> good morning. Now that I have my coffee, I am... <coughs> I'm making Kyle choke with my happiness in the morning. I'm ready to tell you about March Madness, and so is Kyle. It's gonna be an amazing month. Babe, what What can they expect? Besides you uh, hacking up your lung. Uh, so March Madness, starting March 1st, we're gonna have a vlog every other day. And some good friends of ours are joining us. They're gonna do the days we're not posting, they're posting. So we're gonna take the odd days, they're gonna take the even days. So we're basically, it's gonna be a day in the life vlog of whatever the heck it is we got going on. It starts March 1st, and uh, it's gonna be a crazy month, but we're pretty excited about it. And there's gonna be a huge giveaway at the end of the month. Throughout the month, we're gonna let you know what the prizes are. We're pretty excited to be able to give all of this fun stuff away. There will be a code word in each of the videos, so it'll just pop up there, like this little clip right here. It's gonna pop up on this sheet of paper. You have to collect all of these mixed up code words by the end of the month. We're gonna have a live stream together on March 31st. You're gonna try and guess the code phrase. If you guess the code phrase first correctly, you're gonna be the winner of the grand prize. So we're pretty stoked about that. Like she said, in order to be eligible to win, you're gonna need this phrase, this code phrase. You're gonna have to watch us, Red, White, and Methune, on the odd days and on the even days. You gotta go to our friends at We Plus Three, watch their video for the second code word. It's gonna bounce back and forth, and you're gonna need all 30 words to be eligible to win these prizes. And every single night is going to be a premiere. So all these videos are gonna premiere at 6 p.m. every single night. So that's a whole lot of Red, White, Methune and We Plus Three. But enough about that. Let me drink my coffee, pack this bus up, because we've swarmed enough, so we're rolling out. <laughs> we're packed up, we're ready to go, the bus is running. I'm thinking I want to go out this way because it'll be a little easier turn on me and I'll just be, hopefully, it's kind of downhill a little bit. I know you can't see that on camera, so hopefully we can slide through there to walk down here real quick to see if we can actually get out. So yeah, I don't know that I wanna go this way because there's not really a clear path out of here from here. So I think I'm gonna go back and just come out the way I came in. I think it'll be okay. Cause I mean, I just gotta turn a slight right. It's kind of uphill, but hopefully I can do it. So yeah, the plan is to pull from here, pull straight out over there. Sorry, my buzzer. Then I just have to make a left turn there behind these buses here. And that should give me a pretty direct route out of here. So there's my uh, co-captain slash and a different vehicle captain. Um, so let's get out of here. Look at him making it out of there. Proud of that guy. Whoop, whoop. Now, Kyle got it out, first try. Now we gotta get on the road and catch up with him. Bye, Travis, see you later. Bye, y'all be safe. Bye, y'all. We are headed to Forest Lake Campground. And Forest Lake Campground is in Zephyr Hills, which is near our rental property. So we've got a, a few more things to do on one of the units there before it can be rented out. So right now we're gonna meet up Kyle and I at the Circle K because one of the van tires is low and we've got to air that baby up. But now I gotta put my eyes on the road and get to the gas station. up the tire and then we can be on our way. It was a little low. Before we travel, we have to air it up. Then we've got a two and a half hour drive, right? Yep. Two and a half hour drive, so let's get to it. So we just left Schooly Swarm and now we're heading to a campground. It was just super hot and we didn't have our AC 
running. We had all the windows and doors open, but it was still was really hot. Now we're headed to a campground. So yeah. direction so I was following him. So my GPS keeps telling me to turn right but I don't think I'm supposed to turn right. I think I'm supposed to go straight down 301 is what he said. Anyway hopefully we catch up to him soon or I'm just gonna keep driving and driving and driving. Either way I'll let you know what happens. At the next light turn right. Yeah it keeps telling me to turn right and I don't think I'm supposed to turn right. I think I'm supposed to keep going so let's keep going. here to the campground so I'm gonna go out and get us all checked in here's Kyle yeah babe I had to let some people out I'm gonna go check us in what I'm gonna go check us in are you going in yes I'm going to check us in Fine. anyway let's go get checked in so it says we need to pick up our welcome packet at the mail room so I believe the mail room is right here so let's go let's go pick up our package um there we go. Let's see. Bethune. Site 252. Let's go give this to Kyle. All right. We are in site 252. However, I have no idea where that is. It looks like a big park. Yeah, it looks tight shite to me. You got this. You're amazing. You are like the master. All right, I'm going. He's going to get to the site. I'm going to get in the van. All right, so we have got to get parked here. Yeah, it does look a little tight. He's gonna love getting in here. But I think we're all the way in the back. Where's 252? We need to dump the tanks. We need to get water and all the things and actually take showers. So we are gonna stay here for four days. Now let's get to the site. 249, 250. 51. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I don't think this is going to work. Do you think if you pulled all the way back? Because it's on a... Why would they put us in this site? Cut off anything else. Yeah, I guess I'll drive up and call the office. So Blue Betty won't fit up to here today. Like Let's hop back in the van, go up to the front, and see if they have any other sites available. I was just on the phone with them, and then I didn't record the conversation. Basically, they said that they're going to check and see if there's anything available. Um, if not, I don't know what we're going to do, because that's not a 40-foot site. Welcome to March Madness Day 1. Uh, so I guess we're going to the farm because there's there's no way that we're getting into this site. This is not a 40 foot RV site. Uh, when I got off the phone with the maintenance guy, he said he could come help us uh, get into the site. But I think Kyle's pretty experienced. He doesn't need any help. Yeah, I mean, could it? Maybe, but we're not going to be level. Not going to be fun <laughs> getting in that thing. I, I don't know why. These old parks, like they need to just make permanent sites out of them. This is, this is unusable. Like, who can use this? This was built probably back. RVs were never over 35 feet. He called the manager and she said that a 40 footer just left this site. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not impossible, but I know this bus pretty well. And I've got her in some tight holes. This isn't one of them? No. Let's load back up into the van and I guess Kyle's gonna call his parents and we're going to the farm. We interrupt your drive because we've got to get out and pump some freaking gas. So, let's go. Oh, 
Sorry, I almost let you there. Yeah, I just woke up. Uh, so we got parked. What a pain in the ass that was, going to a campground. Can't get in. Yuck. Luckily, my parents' place was only about 45 minutes away. So we just booked it over here, got set up. I took a nap. I'm not going to lie. I was tired. All right, now we're going to go check on Jen, and then we're going to go pick up something. Let's do it. What are you doing? <laughs> Kyle took a nap and I started watching trashy reality TV. That that sounds very productive. It's my guilty pleasure. And you know what? We had a busy week at Swarm. It was hot. We haven't had air conditioning in an entire week. And I figured that I deserved a little break. We've got plenty of air conditioning now. We got that puppy cranking. Yeah, it's it's freaking cold. Are you going to go pick up dinner? Yes. In fact, I'm going to go pick up one of my guilty pleasures. I'm pretty excited. Let's go get in the van. You've got to be kidding me. They're closed. I drove all the way up here. It's Maryland Fried Chicken, my favorite fried chicken in the entire world. I don't know if you can see it right there. Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Cool. Saturday, 11 to 5 p.m. Who in the heck closes at 5 p.m.? Like, what's the actual point? Just close after lunch at 2. Like, who orders food at 4 o'clock on a Saturday? Holy cow. I don't know. I gotta scramble now and find us something to eat because me and I have my mouth set on that. Definitely not Maryland fried chicken by any stretch of the means. But what's a guy gonna do on a Saturday night? I'm gonna eat this chicken. Not the chicken I wanted. I'm gonna go walk the dogs, take a shower, and probably go back to bed because I'm still pretty tired. This one's got some uh, work to do and I know she needs to get on it. I have six minutes and 14 seconds left in this episode. Jesus. I am watching this episode. And sure. let, let us know, do you watch trashy reality TV just no. to feel better about no, they yourself? Don't. They don't. They watch YouTube. Let me, I mean, Come on, there has to be somebody out there that watches a little bit of trash at TV. Let's eat. Anyway, yes, let's eat. But right now, I think Theodore is going to do what he does best. Just beg for some chicken. Do you just beg for the chicken? Do you just beg for the chicken? Sit. Sit. No, that doodle blood. Oh, there's Kevin. They all come out of the woodwork when it comes for chicken. Even a little cheeky. You beg for chicken? <laughs> well there you are chick-fil-a wasn't bad i must say but this is gonna wind this video up make sure you go check out march madness day number two at we plus three we're gonna link their video information in the description below and we will see you guys again on friday have a good evening and go watch we plus three and enjoy the hell out of march madness i know we are take it easy guys Angelica Bates was last seen on March the 1st, 2022, missing from New York, New York. Born on December the 18th, 2005, 17 years of age, Hispanic female, brown hair, brown eyes, 5 foot 3 and approximately 110 pounds. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Angelica, please reach out to, new, to the New York City Police Department at 1-212-694-7781. Let's see if we can try to help bring Angelica home.